Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Um, thanks, first off, thanks for all the birthday wishes and uh, all that sort of stuff. It's another one done, another year gone, as they say. <laughs> um, I'll do a, I'll put a video up sometime soon of the um, show on Saturday. Um, you know, it was pouring with rain all day long. We didn't get, didn't get many visitors in, and there weren't many plants on display. It's just caught everybody this funny year we've had so um, yeah the the display was a bit thin on the ground but there's still some good plants there just not as many as normal uh, display was literally half size um, anyway I'll get that posted in the not too distant future um, what else um, the Soto Anum's coming out now but the blooms are getting muddled up with the pinquiculars at the moment but we do have a few open I'll get that out and we'll have a better look at that uh, not today, not a busy day today. I'll take Hannah home to, well, she's got to go to a hospital appointment today, so we've got to go there. Then I've got to get her home and then get back here, so a busy day today. Driving day. Um, now, you know I do me not buying orchid videos. Well, this one's a little bit special from that point of view because it's, yes, it's me not buying orchids, but it's also, and certainly not buying Phalaenopsis. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this one just caught my eye, and I don't know, it just happens sometimes, even though I don't really want lots of Phalaenopsis around, because they don't do well out in the grow room, so they have to go in the house to do better, certainly the, um, well, most of them. I mean, I do keep a few out here through the winter, and the <laughs> but they don't like it. But... That just caught my eye. It's just the colours. This lovely set of autumn colours. I mean, in, that, in the centre there, there's tinges of pink, and that sort of gradates out into a deep orange, and then into a paler orange. And look at that yellow on the lip. That, it just caught my eye. Now that's um, from the same place as one of the... Um, store-bought Phalaenopsis um, in the series um, and an Anthera or Anthenera or something like that was the, um, uh, the mass producer, the name where it came from and they tend to name all of their um, Phalaenopsis after cities so this one's called Las Vegas but that's not a proper name, it's a made-up name it's highly unlikely to be registered but that just caught my eye really did there's some buds still to come if they don't blast because obviously it's getting it's, you know it's getting bumped around <laughs> uh, with travels and you know um, I mean even if it was fresh into the guy that sold this obviously it, it had been transported from the EU somewhere into the, into the UK into his nursery and then it had to be transported down to the show and then it got transported to here so it's been bumped around a bit but hopefully the buds will hang in there there's a few left to come and this is the same as the um what was the other one we had oh, i've forgotten now um but you nearly always from this place get two for one there's actually two plants in the pot two distinct plants they're both good plants and they're in bloom basically so we've actually got four spikes on here two from each plant so they're both blooming sized plants so uh, yeah I'm pleased with that it's a lovely color and um, I'll just put the camera down a minute because um, Hannah did the same thing and, and did the I'm not buying orchids thing the problem she's got is her cats eat them <laughs> anyway I'll just get Hannah's in to have a look so this was the one Hannah bought um, I'm not I'm not unwrapping it because we, we've still got to get it back to her place yet and it's going to have to go via the hospital as well which is going to be a big deal. We might have to have a chat about that. So if it stays down here till next time I see her then she won't enjoy the blooms. You know they'll have had half their life not at her place so we're going to have to take it with us. But we, um, it's a freezing cold day today. We had our first frost, a nice white morning. Um, but as a consequence, I don't know what the temperatures are going to be like to leave this in the car while we're in the hospital, if you see what I mean. It'd probably be okay, but we'll, we'll have a think about that. Um, this has come in one of these horrible little flimsy um, plastic pots. 
but it's got a good root system in there but it'll need repotting and may well do that today um, before taking it home now there's at least one bud blasting on this one um, but there's still some to come um, it's quite a nice little plant it's an awful lot cheaper than mine was um, yeah so that was Hannah's choice she likes the yellows and she liked the uh, delicate spotting on the lower two sepals and that gorgeous deep colour on the lip so yeah so they had some nice choices there um, anyway so that was that and um, the um, that show we went to was Wessex Orchid Society but the um, president of the Bournemouth Orchid Society was also there and he bought me this little thing and this is Dendrobium Oranti Roseum um, and it's a division off a plant. This doesn't grow big and this is not going to be easy for me to grow. This is a, one of the few dendrobiums that comes from montane forests. So cool growing, very high humidity. So um, that'll have to get mounted I think, even though it's tiny. Um, that's his typical media in there. It's mostly stones, <laughs> or grit, <laughs> not much else. Um, anyway, we'll do something with that uh, soon. Um, I don't think there's a very good root system on that either. So uh, anyway, we'll do what we can. But if you look at its growth, it's a little unusual. You can see the, um, the pseudo bulb on the right has extended out and produced a new, produced a new pseudo bulb, and then it's extended out again and produced a new pseudo bulb. So it seems to have a more creeping habit. Most dendrobiums have a base point, and all their growths come out from that base point. So we'll see what we can do with that. And it obviously has a creeping habit because that middle pseudo bulb, the second one, has actually got a root coming out the bottom. So it's an unusual growth pattern that. I don't know how big it actually gets, but um, yeah, so I've got to do something with that as well. Anyway, I shall leave it at that today and thanks again for the uh, birthday wishes. Oh, I'll just, I'll just point the camera over there at the moment because um, that is unusual to actually have a Deesa out in bloom at this time of year. Oh, I was going to say, I have actually got a zoom on this camera, I never use it. <coughs> Excuse me, that's Deesa cuensis. So it's a, it's a nice spike as well. It looks like there'll be four, maybe even five blooms on that. Three open at the moment, and possibly another one, maybe two to come. So uh, that's a good spike, pleased with that. <laughs> Shouldn't really be doing it this time of year, but... Uh, it's not been a good year for Deesa growers, apparently. They, a lot of them have struggled for unknown reasons. These things just happen where you get a year where the whole set of plants just don't seem to do as well as normal. Um, and we have to live with these things, don't we? Um, anyway, I'll leave it at that. I need to keep this short because I need to get this processed and posted um, relatively quickly. As I said, I've got a busy day. And um, we'll get back to some normality tomorrow. Um, Everything in here is bone dry. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, mounts of now, it'll be five days tomorrow since they've been looked at. And although some of them are okay, because they're, they're, they're going dormant for the winter anyway, they'll be fine. But there are other mounted orchids like the Tolumnias that should not stay dry that long. Luckily, it's been dull weather and cool. So they'll put up with it. But uh, yeah, big watering day tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> and the first problem I've got is I haven't got any water. I've virtually run out. <laughs> so I shall have to get the old RO unit on. And that water that it processes will be freezing cold. So I'll have to get some into some containers and then warm it up before I can use it. So it's going to be a very busy day tomorrow. But, you know, I've had a long time off not doing anything out here. So... We'll get back at it tomorrow, and I've got to do a favour for somebody. Um, the president of, um, not president, uh, chairman Lynn, um, Lynn posts on the Facebook group fre quite frequently. Um, <coughs> and um, she's been after a Dendrobium canico for ages and just can't find one. And I thought, well hang on, my plant produced a few new growths from the base, but some of the new growths are actually from farther down the plant, so technically they're keikis. So I'm going to see if I can break a bit off, something like that. There's two joined together there, both with leaves on. I think that piece would snip off quite nicely. 
and then I can take that along to the next meeting and um, she's got a good start then you know I mean that that growth there's a good one that one's got leaves on but is starting to go deciduous so that that cane may well bloom next year even though there'll only be two canes when I nip it off it's coming off a blooming size mature plant so that should work so uh, I'll see if I can get that done if I remember <laughs> And I'll see you in, oh, the um, cymbidium spike's pushing on now. The buds are separating, so the, the, the spike itself is extending quite nicely. So every now and again, I can put a tie on. You know, I've got enough room now to get a tie there um, and hold that section, and then I should be able to get another one. I want that spike upright, because if it arches, it's, it'll just take up too much space. So we'll get at that. And, um, yeah, last look at Hannah's. Phalaenopsis, lovely one that. Don't think that had a name. Oh, hang on, yes, it has. It's actually called Little Emperor. Um, I might try and track that down. That could be a genuine name. Um, anyway, we shall see. And uh, I'll see you next time. Oh, we, I suppose we better have a quick look at this Master Valia. That has gained depth of colour since that opened. There is now a lot more orange showing on that bloom than initially. That's a very nice bloom. First time for ages that that's bloomed. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks for dropping by.